Welcome back to Chocolate City Sports Break. I'm your host, Sonny C. So here we have it again. Another situation where Dwayne Haskins has arrived. He was filmed, uh, actually it was a photo circling around uh, on the social media. We looked like Haskins and a young lady. Um, uh, actually looked like they were partaking in some type of, uh, there was another la young lady that uh, looked like there was a strip club or a house full of strippers, I don't know. Uh, but uh, the main thing, Haskins didn't have a mask on at this uh, party or social gathering. And um, there's a possibility there could have been some, uh, obviously there's uh, some type of uh, issue with the COVID-19 violations as far as if he's in a room of overall a large group of people it's obviously go against uh, what the NFL is allowing uh, and warn these guys about as far as do not violate your protocol uh, on your off time or while you're away. Uh, just try to keep within, uh, you know, what the, what the league boundaries are. And apparently uh, Haskins has an issue uh, with following these rules. And... There was, a, like I said, a photo generator it calls a fur, a fur through the internet, and Haskins issued a part, uh, an apology via his Twitter account. Uh, I've heard a rumor that it was his Twitter account has been uh, deactivated. I don't know if that's true or not. I don't follow him on Twitter, so I don't know. Uh, but he did issue out a, an apology. Uh, and the apology to the coach Ron Rivera, obviously this team, and obviously the city, um, for his uh, transgressions. Um, is it youthful exuberance? Is it just immaturity? Is it just a a cycle of just you know you just lights on, nobody home? I want this young man to win, and it's hard. You know, I I, I pretty much was out after the the whole self last year selfie uh, incident with the fans, where he couldn't finish the victory celebration on the victory formation to the kneel down. We had to get uh, Case Kim come in off the bench to actually take the kneel down, which is embarrassing within itself. While he was over there um, engaging in. Uh, selfies with fans and <laughs> there was still uh, some work left to do. I was pretty much out then and you know but I looked at the guy he was he was he started to turn it around last year started to put some things together under the uh, you know coach Callahan but then this year, he uh, kept posting how he, he was working out on the internet, uh, working out with several uh, various players in the league. Uh, he, he lost weight, he shed, he shed some uh, pounds, and he, he uh, started uh, actually putting the work in, which I was kind of proud of. And I was hoping that, uh, you know, my thought initially, because, I, I, and I have to be honest, I have to keep it all the way 100, I, I initially thought, I hope he's just, you know, not doing this, just flexing and just boom, if he gets the job, boom, uh, he slacks off. I mean, I hope this just wasn't something he can get in shape and once he get the job, then boom, uh, he, you know, back to his old habits. And apparently uh, those, uh, those warning signs that I had in my mind, those red flags actually came in fruition. Not only do you go out Nothing wrong with that. If you want to go to a gentleman's club, fine. Um, you know, but uh, in the age of COVID-19, uh, in, this, in, this, in the stages that we are now, with the death toll constantly on the rise and hospitalizations are up, and um, you know, this is a real thing. This is nothing that you, this is up close and personal to a lot of individuals. But you just basically throw your whole team under the bus in the midst of a playoff run. We don't know if Alex Smith is going to be a go for Sunday. 
they did call up two practice squad quarterbacks uh, last week. Uh, <laughs> but if Alex Smith is not able to go, and he has soreness in his calf, and he's dealing with a muscle, calf, soft tissue issue, uh, which is understandable. I mean, obviously his story is well documented, um, and it's probably some fatigue has stepped in, uh, set in. And football, you know, as you know, is a hard sport. So, and Alex is 36 years old. Um, but Dwayne Haskins had to take some responsibility uh, for his actions. I think he's just, you know, I think he's just pretty much bodied his career in Washington with this latest, this latest incident, and it's 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 unfortunate for a young man like that 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 was obviously overdrafted by the owner, and uh, he showed some some promise. Uh, he has talent. Last year's coaching staff, uh, Bill Callahan, uh, did s say that uh, you know he's he's he doesn't make these same mistakes on the you know if you tell him something. But now he that has is just been thrown out the window because this guy doesn't get it. He tried to sneak someone into a hotel earlier this season, this year, uh, right before the season start. Uh, Someone unauthorized that wasn't on the list. He tried to, you know, sneak into the team hotel, or not, you know, try to enter him into the team hotel. So he was reprimanded about and fined about that, and he goes, gets the start against Philly, and uh, he starts four games. And after the Raven game, where he uh, didn't really play that well, and team loss never was really in the game a little bit uh, but he didn't play well made poor mis poor mis uh, decisions on the field and uh, after the game there uh, was um, you know, stories that Haskins was celebrating his stats he that was his first I believe first career 300 plus yard game and uh, he was he was kind of gloating about his stats when the team has lost in the locker room and I think some players got upset about it and they addressed it with Coach Ron and Ron had, had enough at that point and he made his decision to go with Kyle Allen and the rest was history. Kyle Allen uh, played well in a few games. He got hurt against the second Giant game. Enters Alex Smith and um, entered the playoff run. Uh, Washington is favored to win the division. They, they, they're one game ahead. Um, they play Carolina. That game has been flexed to 4 o'clock this Sunday at FedEx Field. Carolina won't be an easy out. Uh, so, you know, Dwayne Haskins, uh, you know, that decision to go out or to celebrate uh, with strippers and do what people do, young people do, uh, with, you know, didn't have a mask on, wasn't, you know, these decisions of uh, immaturity and, and he just got to, you know, live with it. Uh, he's a problem and his talent, although he has a ceiling, he has a high ceiling of talent, but coaches in this league is not going to put up with distractions. Your only focus should be trying to get your head in that playbook, uh, study the, 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 the game plan. Um, got Carolina coming up, as I mentioned, and that should be your focus. You know, after a game, you know, if you want to hang out, if you want to hang out, you know, hang out in your house, man. You, you know, uh, don't put yourself in, 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 in jeopardy where, you know, obviously people are, are uh, these camera phones that people are taking pictures, they're instantly uploading, and uh, you get caught out of pocket. You know, not to say that you're doing anything that's uh, egregious, but I mean, it, really, it is egregious 
in, in the climate that we're in, under the COVID-19 climate. So not to mention that Ron, your coach, Ron Rivera, was uh, is battling cancer and, and he don't have time. He can't, he can't, you know, he, he, he possibly can affect the team and him and put him in harm's way. It's a lot to unpack with this dude, man. Um, he needs some serious, serious mentoring. And really, most of all, he needs to mature. He needs to, you know, he needs to do the right thing. And um, I don't know what the, the, the team is going to do. I, I suspect he might get fined. I, the, the bigger question is, will he be able to play this Sunday if needed? Uh, is he focused? It's my biggest thing. Regardless whether he's ready to play or not, and if Alex is not able to go, I, I need to know where this kid's mind is at, man. Um, I can't trust this guy. I'm, I'm, I can't trust it. I can't trust you, Dwayne Haskins. And, uh, and some of your staunchest supporters are starting to wane their support with you over this latest incident. You need to check yourself. And you need to apologize to your teammates, every last one of them. And you need to get your head in that playbook. You need to really take your, your career serious at this point at this juncture. Um, I wish you the best, but uh, I just I just can't put up with it anymore. And uh, hopefully you will learn from this and it will resonate with you and, it, and, it, and you got good people around you that will give you some sound advice regarding um, how to be professional. And, you know, just do, basically just do the right, the right thing. And uh, there's going to be a time for celebration. Let's celebrate after we get a victory. Let's celebrate properly when we get this division, uh, take this division and, and celebrate there until we get to the next opponent in the playoffs, if it happens. But uh, it's not a good look, my brother. It's not a good look. And I wish that you, uh, I know you probably feel a certain kind of way about certain things, but uh, you need to dig within yourself and uh, find out whether you want to play football or not, or you want to be a celebrity, or you want to be a, uh, just a mogul at this point. But uh, your focus needs to be razor sharp coming up this week, and hopefully uh, you'll get back on track. and. Uh, get back in the fold and um, you know make make amends and uh, get this victory this Sunday so that's all I gotta say about that thank you for tuning in and we will see you soon <laughs>